Well, hello out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies. It is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I am back with... What are we on now? What, what is this? Episode number... I think it's the lucky number 13. Episode 13 of Going Medieval. Um, we are playing on Ravensworth Castle, which is um, on the Richmond seat. This is capital R, Richmond. And where do we leave off? It is fall. It's autumn day nine. So we're headed into winter in this episode... I think our I think our larder was full. That's where we left things. I'm um, just gonna zoom down there and check. Yep, larder's pretty damn full. We're doing okay, and it's got ice blocks in it too. So it's been a little while since I played Going Medieval. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I I have been sidetracked by other games. Uh, in full transparency, I'm uh, I'm trying to write a science fiction novel this month. I'm uh, participating in uh, hashtag Nano Remo 2022. Uh, it's the National Novel Writing Month. And uh, so far, I'm at 5,000 of 50,000 uh, goal word count. So it's clipping along. Um, I, I might do some uh, science fiction themed content on this channel um, shortly. I maybe make it more of like a booktube type thing. I'm obviously going to keep playing games, but uh, um, that's the update for me. So this is uh, Ravensworth Castle on Richmond. Ravensworth uh, was a, a real castle um, in... Uh, what 14th um, early 15th century England uh, became uh, defunct somewhere during the War of the Roses and yeah uh, I'm, I'm not you know recreating a block for block or anything this is just uh, in the style of the period um, and we got a whole community to manage here um, going medieval is a community management survival crafting game from uh, Foxy Voxel um, it's the native rim world or dwarf fortress I like these games. I like these games a lot. I guess we got to pick our barley. That's our that's our priority, isn't it? I'm looking around for uh, job cues here. So, just cooking. Well, everyone is not cooking onto harvesting, and I'm actually going to leave a second cook going, and we'll just pull everything into the storehouse, nice and easy. Yeah, to be honest, I probably should zero out the other things that they're priority one on uh it looks good to me doesn't it yeah priority we can priority two a bunch of the hauling i'll reset them after this uh i'll speed it up okay so yeva's already picking that's good and this is going to produce a crap ton, like, a, like an absolute crap ton of hay, a bunch of barley. We'll get that all harvest ruined. Well, that's that's no good. Pick more carefully. Um, but we'll get all that in either to our silo um, or into to the uh, granary. Um, I guess that's what I'm going to call this area. The, I don't know, the cold storage. The larder. So I pointed out that uh, when you build shelves, you can actually copy the settings from existing shelves. That, I, I was not aware of that. That's something that I missed. Um, so, cool. Good to know. Would have been better to know before I started last episode. So in this episode, um, I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna finish up the keep because we're headed into winter. Once this uh, hay has been brought in, there's not gonna be too much left to do. Um, obviously, they're oh they're picking all the apples. That's good. We're gonna get an apple harvest too. That's exciting. Oh no, no, what happened to my cow? It just, Kevin just died. Uh, my name's Kevin, by the way. Um, Kevin just died. Kevin keeled over and fucking died and didn't starve. There's food. So that was, uh, doesn't say how old Kevin was. Doesn't say how old Kevin was. Rip Kevin. Make sure I'm gonna prioritize uh, butchering. Somewhere here. Yeah, there's a butchering order that's been made. Oh, good. And we're making alcohol left, right, and center now. It's raining. So let's, you know what? Let's pull everyone off of everything they're doing and make hauling the number one priority because I need to get all of that stuff inside before the rain damages any of the crops that have been left out. And we've got all this this crap still left over at the front gate. I hope there's storage space. There, yeah, there should be adequate storage space for everything. 
Let me just double check the yes, yeah, silo's got adequate storage space. Yep, they're filling it right now. Good, good. So the hay goes in the silo. Grand's gonna go into the the larder or cold storage. We need them to pick these cabbages up too. Somebody already got the cow corpse. Cow corpse go into the cold storage somewhere. Or did he get chopped up? I don't know where it went, to be honest. I don't know where they're putting bodies. Not there. Hmm. Where do dead animals get dropped now? It must must be going down here, but Circus animal, yeah. So they it's the correct They didn't take it there. I don't see the body in the I'm sure it didn't get cut up or I don't know. I don't know what happened to that corpse. They must have created a stockpile somewhere that they and I'm sure that carcasses aren't accepted on this. Animal carcasses are not accepted on this. Are they still allowed in here? No. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. So it must have got brought in already, but I don't know. <laughs> they filled those shelves super fast though. I don't think there is any more food storage. There's not much left in the field though either. That's good. Okay, so we're not going to sow any more this season. Okay, and now we're going to put everyone back to their correct roles, cooking, and for what Amon was doing. Amar can do smithing, Francis can do construction, Yeva can do mining. We have another miner, and Wind is also a miner. Let's put two of them on mining. Um, Martin shall build. Oh, you know what? Let's have Martin and Seward on crafting for the winter. Smart and Wallace shall construct, and then I'll put all of these things at two. The merchant here. Um, there's nothing I really need to buy from said merchant. They're not, they're not offering anything for sale that I don't, that I don't have in abundance. We've got so much damn barley and cabbage and, and boy, that's. Um, we're fermenting mead right now, but I feel like maybe we should start making beer or yeah, how many herbs do I have? I got 134 herbs. Let's start making some beer um, until we have, no, that's too many beers. Uh, all right, let's make 30 beers. And that should, with, uh, uh, yeah, that's probably too many actually. Let's make it 20. Yeah. All right. So we'll make a bunch of beer and you know what? Why not make a bunch of ale too? Let's see. Uh, uh, 20, there we go. Oh, yeah, they're finally working down here now. Do I have any stone in my inventory? Not really. Not really. But he's, he's building the, what, uh, torches, the braziers there. Cool, so the Great Hall is going to be definitely completed this episode. Um, that's all we're working on now. And I guess with that in mind, before the snow falls, I need to... Uh, I guess now the mining is going to happen. The mining will just happen. See this pit here. We could... Build a, oh, I'm, I'm not used to the keybinds. I've been playing another playing another game, uh, Stranded Alien Dawn. It's got slightly different keybinds. Um, okay. I'm definitely going to do an episode of that this weekend, too, um, in between my word count. I think I think I'll write something absurd, like 8,000 words tomorrow. Um, I'll be able to do it. I'm, I'm confident. 
and I've done 5,000, so 1,000 words a day, but I haven't really sat down and like burned. Um, and I'm just full of ideas, full of ideas. But again, this is not a science fiction booktube stream, so I'm gonna cut that short. And so what I wanna do is I wanna get uh, stone into our inventory so that uh, yeah, Seward and the other fella, um, whatever, Martin, will uh, craft stone blocks then we can we can continue building the keep here that's really going to become the main building on this structure we'll have uh, you know like a religious center in the keep and a great hall and a library like we don't need anything else we don't need to do any any hunting do i need to do wood cutting do i have any wood in my should have wood yeah 2500 wood yeah we don't need to do any wood cutting um, we're loaded up on food. We just need to keep the cooking and the mining going throughout the season and adjust situationally. Like they're even lighting all the torches and braziers and stuff. Like I, I feel very confident that this winter is going to be a cinch. Um, on that subject, let me just double check that everybody's got their winters on. Everyone's wearing winter clothing. We are gold. Martin doesn't have a weapon though. Martin does not have a weapon, and he should. Is there no ranged weapon for him to take? Did his ranged weapon break? There's no ranged weapon for him to take. I'm gonna have to have them build one. There really should be. Let's just save for a second. A slow time. Yeah, there's. What are Martin's skills? Marksman seven. For a bow, good. I'll have him take that bow. I don't know why he's not automatically taking from the uh, the equipment racks there. Okay, yeah, so we're getting blocks. And keep will be done in, well, at least this, this floor of the keep will be done in no time, and then I can block out the second. Um, or maybe the chapel. I guess the chapel's next day. Eh? That's, uh, where's that gonna go? I cannot wait, Foxy Voxel, for you to give us uh, terraforming so that I can, I can move gardens around and stuff. That's just gonna be fantastic. I'm also gonna have Francis build this stairwell up here. I guess, because they're, is there another stairwell up to the top? No, there is not. I'd like that to exist. Hmm. It's one in the morning. Drinking uh, a Kelimoto tonight. It's a uh, an exceptionally classy beverage from the Basque region of Spain, which is um, one part Coca-Cola or cola-based beverage and one part red wine. Actually tastes fantastic. Uh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Recommend the uh, Kilimoto. All right, let's get him building that ASAP. Just want those stairs to exist. That means I can delete this. Someone's mining somewhere. Oh, they're mining down in the down in the hole there. That's good. This is very good here. So I can uh, now delete that and.
have them clear out that level of this this pit mine. In fact, I might actually have them work just exclusively there over the winter. What are they mining? Are they mining? They're mining this stuff. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. They can work here too. Until the snow falls and then we'll move. You guys are going to get materials. Animals are hungry. What animals are? Ha, 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 ha. Don't want my goats to die. Why are my goats unwell? Why is there, is there no, there's not really any animal feed. That's what's going on here. But there's probably lots of human food, isn't there? Okay. I will produce animal feed instead. This uh, research table is still <laughs> waiting to be built. I probably should get back on the research game. Uh, I don't know what we have left to learn. We got a bunch of things left to learn still. Why are there just shields left sitting on the ground here? I would like to know what sense. It's weird. Very weird. I really can't wait for more up, up, uh, uh, up, updates for this game, I think. Um, it like, really is going to shine when there's interpersonal interactions or you can like call a party in your great hall. And, and rumor has it, there's going to be some uh, some uh, more siege equipment added to the game or, or some changes to the way sieges are run. I, 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 I expect that'll happen on a timeline synchronous with the implementation of terraforming, but don't quote me on that. I, I obviously don't know. Um, I'm just reading between the lines on the developer blogs, but... Uh... So my goats are still starving. We really need to get on this here. Really need to get on this here. I, uh, I cannot lose goats. Where's Christian? What's he actually doing? Now where's he going? He's going to get the... Okay. Francis is having a little freak out. Seems to be binge drinking. There we go. Okay. You know, they'll keep producing animal feed for a while until those pens are full. Uh, maybe we'll have a little extra for the season, but um, at least the animals aren't going to starve. That should actually, you know, um, should cut down on the uh, animal population there, shouldn't I? Like, I have a little shelf space, and I don't have meat. So here's what we're going to do. Let's take a look through my go. Oh, you know what? I can just go to the animals tab, can't I? Uh, goats. We're going to keep the uh, oldest female. No, we're going to slaughter the oldest female. Actually, we have a bunch of, bunch of female goats now. Um, and we're going to slaughter pretty much all the males and all the females, um, except for... Um, we'll keep that guy and one of the younger females here. Dory gets to live. Oh, I don't want to slaughter my sheep. That would be bad for everything. 
Okay, two, three, uh, four goats, and then I'll kill the youngest goats. Leave the cows. Okay. I don't know if somebody's uh, currently tasked with animal husbandry. No, it doesn't look like it. So we'll move that down to priority one, move that up to priority two for a second. And we'll see what happens. Martin's having a freak out too. What's this? Milking the goats. He's just exhausted, I think. Deprived of entertainment and he's losing consciousness. Yeah, so he's not having a good time because he's tired. Alright, there we go. They're killing goats. I'm just dropping them left, right, and center now. Okay, so we get some goats down. Smoking those meats. <laughs> we have too much food. I think we have too much food. The temperature in the food room. Just just below zero. Just below zero. It's about minus five outside. Cool. And so we're making ice again. That's the last brazier, I think, in that room. Getting slapped together. How are we doing on iron? Is there a shortage? Is that why the braziers are being... Yeah, there's... They're making iron... Slowly. That's fine. Got a couple apple trees growing out of their uh, defined grid there. That's okay. How are we doing on animal feed? Still not much better. I guess it's probably piling up in the kitchen because nobody's hauling it. I had to guess. And the meat's piled up. I guess. Yeah, that's the goats. They are. They are slaughtering. On their own. Uh, on their own schedule. Maybe we need to have a haul day. A haul day. Get it? It's a weak, weak dad joke. It's good though, they're moving all the piles around and... A lot of different materials in this game. I need them to bring in all that stone. I got mined out here. I might, uh, I might then assign uh, the bulk of folks to mining and take everyone off everything but cooking for the season. Or, well, not for the season, but for, for a good while. I'm actually going to put all the miners on two. And hauling on one. So they will mine, haul in that priority. Um, and haul whatever is left over. Which is good. We want all the material in stockpiles if there's spaces for them. 
and things that have piled up like this armor and stuff out here that I just I think look there's plate armor decomposing on the ground as we speak I don't have these are technically these should be plate armor only but nobody's taken the clothes off it so I'm not I'm not sure how that uh whatever whatever there's more where that came from a bunch of random weapon racks here too. <laughs> All the clothing, yeah. I gotta, I gotta sort this tower out. That's a big priority for me now. Winter has arrived. I wish it was winter here. Holy crap! It's like it's eighteen degrees today or something wild in uh, November. 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 What is it today? Remember, remember the fifth of November. The gunpowder trees in plot. Um, but yeah, it was super hot for Toronto, which is wild. It's, it's normally quite quite chilly in November this time of year, but uh, unseasonably warm. Anyway, yeah, happy Burn the Man Day. I guess I can take that up now, eh? I think I might uh, start to clean up the outsides of this. Oops, of uh, this structure here. Is these uh, little projections don't have any uh, architectural value for me at this time? I'll deselect those. And I don't care if they haul the clay. No, oh, Yeva, you can you can haul the stone, please. Let's see how that uh Alright. Starting to get a limestone stockpile going now. How is my stockpile? Is it no, nah, it's pretty empty. That's good. We have a lot of beeswax and clay. Might be worth it to start a clay pile somewhere else, but... I mean, we'll just keep hauling. Why are they passing out on me? I have winter gear on. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, finally some digging going on. That's very good. I guess I can uh I can take this time to start constructing the next level here. Um wait a second. So ultimately the keep is gonna be one layer larger. Be a lot of limestone blocks, I guess, but uh, yeah, so this is already the exterior wall. 
Okay. Build it like that. And then on this side, we're going to have to build it like that. And in the courtyard. Just like that. And like that. Okay. Oh, I don't uh hmm. I don't need to build this up. It's not accessible and it's one it's one course higher. That's all accessible. Let's see what they go do now. Is it digging or? No, they're gathering dead foxes. How did the foxes die? Okay, they're gathering too much. <laughs> it's a lot of alcohol being produced now. I mean, it does. It does. It does not have a permanent shelf life. I don't think, even in a. Oh, it does. It does. This won't ferment, or this won't uh, go bad. We probably shouldn't have them mine out the the bridge uh, between the stairs there. Francis kind of got himself stuck, but we'll get him out eventually, right? It's gonna be a bit of a hurry if we get attacked or something. That'll be funny or potentially deadly. So haven't had anyone in the community die in this playthrough. Um, knock on, knock on some kind of laminate. library is going to go in the central room. Let me just see how my floor lines up with the pillars. So it would be there. So we'll just continue the same structural pattern up. Are there central pillars? No, it doesn't appear there are central pillars. So we'll just uh, we can float the floor on that and 
how we're doing on stone here. 257. I want I want to get like 2,000 stone in, um, and then I'll switch them over to brick making and building, and we'll rush some of this this winter. There's no shortage of food. We might as well. Well, we don't have field tasks. Next set of stairs down will be one, two, three. I don't think I've done uh, big mining um, works yet this this playthrough like we've just gone with mostly surface material to build so far and i've got all that clay over there that i can turn into bricks to build um some of the other buildings i'm planning out but that won't be on this that won't be on this stream we got a I don't know, half an hour 25 minutes left but i haven't seen that before I guess it makes sense, right? Objects sticking out when you undermine them. The support in this game seems to still be pretty, pretty vertical. Okay. Stare. Oh, come on, guys! You can, you can do better than that. Come on. Oh, okay. Elmer's going to do it. All right. I'll wait. Okay, maybe we should give them a hot minute to clear that out. Why don't we put some food out? I haven't built those floor sections too. The reason I'm building these floor sections is so that we can mine out completely underneath and still have stairs down. He could have built multiple floor sections there. There's no reason he had to just build the one. Some of these miners can, in fact, become haulers. Who's not a proficient miner? Minus 30 out. It's cold. And it just got even colder. As I said that, it, I just had this, like, little liminal tingle, like, we're gonna, 
We're going to get a cold snap any second. There it is. All right. Temperature's going to go to what? Minus. They headed to minus 40, isn't it? Okay, we'll see what happens here, but I got to keep an eye on these folks now. Um, and all of their buyers are out. That's no good. Let's have whoever whoever wants to steward the buyers. Could be very bad. I hadn't realized that all of their fires went out at once. I mean, it's not that we got a shortage of fuel. I just need them to wake up and do it, and I don't want to make them tired by waking them up at one in the morning. But I'm worried they're going to freeze overnight. See, some people are already taking damage. Anyone's unconscious. Yeah, this is bad. All right, we're going to slow time down and manage this cold problem. Now, everybody, get up and go light some fucking fires. Uh, really, that's the only thing I want y'all doing. Leave it to this game three a curveball, right? Just when you like get your, your mining and resource gathering operations underway. They're lighting braziers and torches. Yeah, there's no shortage of sticks. That's what we're using for fuel. I've got, I don't know how many damn sticks. 1,400 sticks. That's, that's enough for several winters, but... Okay, I'm seeing most of the fires lit. Not all of them, but most of them. Okay. Let's get them back on their, their tasks now. Price is averted, at least for the moment. Um, what do we have? Everyone was mining. Except for um, except for Martin was hauling and Francis was hauling. It'll be fine. They're also suffering from cold, but they have appropriate clothing. Yeah, but everyone's still clothed, clothed for winter. But as good as it gets. Might as well connect this through here. And mine that out, why not? Nobody's losing health. Great Hall really needs a roof. We'll get there. I just need to bring in a bunch more stone.
Why are Wallace and Elmer chopping trees? Is there nothing for them to mine? Is that what happens? Something. I'm not sure why they're not mining. Okay, how are we doing on animal feed? Just want don't want to overproduce it. I think we got space for much, much more. Yeah, they're gonna run out down there eventually. Wait a tick. So Kevin died, the cow, right? Are any of these cows male? Yeah. Good. Okay, we've got a new generation. Great. They're not mining. Okay. Yeah, so we've got people mining, people hauling, and now people making blocks. And we're gonna slowly transition over to like full fledged block making, but they're 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 finishing the ceiling of the great hall now. Probably would have finished faster if I hadn't laid down all these extra blocks, but... Any more here? How's the brewing going? Oh, we've got 20 beer and 20 ale. They won't make any more than that. How many herbs? I've still got herbs. Whoa. So you gotta wait for it to ferment and then they can make more. Well, once they clean out this uh, this mining area, I don't know if there's another course of stone below it. I don't think there is. It looks like it's just dirt. These might be... Uh, by... No, it's just dirt all along the walls there. So we've, I think we've mined this hole out pretty much. Cold snap ended. Didn't say it ended, but the cold snap ended. A lot of stone. It would be great if they'd haul it in, but
make sure we're just burning coal in things that kind of silly you gotta oh boss all right what do we got two adept archers four archers four fierce marauders okay it's a big group but uh nothing we nothing we can't take how far are they here pretty far okay they're very far actually all right um and what elmer is outside the walls having a fit that's no good Oh no, he's not. He's inside the walls. Good, good. At least they, at least they have their little breakdowns inside. Oh, I forgot to replace the main gate. Oh, that's not going to go well for me, is it? Okay, everybody, get to the. I'm gonna have Francis queue up inside, but uh, they, these guys might actually get into the courtyard this time. I forgot completely to rebuild the gate. My bad. Also, since when was Francis wearing mail using a sword and board? I feel like I lose track of what these guys are equipping. Okay. Only got five archers. Wait a second. Did I lose someone? Is there a... No. Just the community looks smaller. But, uh... missing Christian who's where Christian's there he's not drafted so that's part of the problem okay He just passed out. I get him on the wall and he falls asleep. They have a bunch more archers this time. Okay, Christian, get your damn bow in your hand, get on that wall, and do what everyone else is doing. That's an order. Okay. Adept Archer there. Anyone's getting hit. We might not be able to hold this position on the wall if anyone gets hit really hard. Okay. Where's the next? There were two Adept Archers. Archer. Maybe I got the other one. I think I got the other one. Okay. Primary that one. I'm going to get these guys crossbows. Well, they threw the portcullis. Well, Martin's down. He's not even injured, though. He just passed out. Okay, I think I got the other archer. So, what's the order of operations here? Turn them around. Have them square up behind. The bad guys. Or you can get up any seconds. Christian passed out. Where'd Martin go now?
Okay, who is Elmer's still wandering? Who's not drafted? Christian's not drafted, but he's unconscious. Wallace is convalescing and he's not drafted. But he could be on his feet because he's not injured. He should be at the gate. Ready to fight in case they break through. Someone's building something. Who is building something? Oh my God. Come on, guys. That's a little silly. They just keep collapsing. I guess I guess because what I did was I put them all on a 24-hour schedule um, for the purposes of dealing with that stewarding crisis, and I forgot to tell them to sleep again. So, all right, all right, fine. Have your leisure time. Have your anything time. Have your anything time. Have your leisure time. Other way around, shouldn't it be? Yeah, um, and then have your afternoon break, and we'll copy you. That way. And hope that stops the collapse of my a lot of raiders this time. Yeah, they're they're basically through. I don't think it's worth sallying forth to try to kill them either. It doesn't seem like they're carrying anything too special either. They're, they don't have the... Uh, I see like lots of plate armor or anything down here. Okay. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to run through a 24-hour cycle to get everyone caught up on their sleep, especially since it's midnight now. That's too bad. I wanted to build uh I wanted to build more, but uh This is considered a defeat. That's annoying. That was a victory, but anyway, nobody died. That's all that really matters. Well, have that's annoying too when you've got settlers mixed in with things you just want to change permission on. I don't really care what order they haul it in or if they haul it, or it's almost all trash. I guess they could dismantle it. There's a sword there. What is that? The long swords. Not fantastic. It's pretty good. Yeah, all right. Just make sure we have food here. We are kind of running low on food. Not on ingredients, just on 
cooked, finished meal. fails to build an individual block of floor. Building is unstable because it's placed on stability zero. That's not really possible for that to be stability zero. I don't I don't fully understand. It is supported by a beam. Whatever, we'll see what happens. It clearly thinks it can build there. It's like an Change those to like pillar types, can't I? Well, that looks nice. I haven't really done any cosmetic work in this base. I've just been like chipping away at the foundation, but. I didn't even check up on uh, everyone's health after that. Someone could have been bleeding to death. No, we're good. Surprised they didn't lose anybody after that uh, after that fight. Someone's health was low. Anwind, I think, but he seems to have rebounded. We're doing on blocks here. 200 limestone bricks. That's not going to be enough to make much of a dent, but how are we doing? Lots of limestone down in the hole. Well, Make a it's gonna make a real dent here now. Might as well uh fix the gates, eh? Whew. That was just, that was just a bit clumsy of me. I look at my gates like, oh, I don't have gates anymore. They, <laughs> they got right through the last set of gates too. If I get attacked now, they would, they would definitely get through. Um, and yeah, you know, I wouldn't do too much damage. We'd probably just destroy the benches here and stuff before I stop them. But I don't want to have to. Oh, 
what those guys are working on the floor, I guess. I'll need him to work on this. Uh, I guess they're just going to do it in the order they do it. Already had a stone. I mean, they're still making blocks. They've got 82 blocks there, and there's stone in the pit, but they have to go get it. Yeah, it's a lot of stone in the pit, actually. Like a thousand or two. I don't know. What are we, winter day seven? And then, like, right away, this is going to be a library and research room. I'll roof it next, and then we'll have side rooms for sleeping and storage and probably uh, an expanded, like, good armory in the keep. But I guess I guess bedrooms is the next priority, standardized uh, living quarters. They are finishing the Great Hall.
need to be smart enough to actually finish it. I think that was the last. Okay, uh, if I check the room type. Uh, oh, that sounds, what am I, rooms detected. I do not detect a great hall. What, uh, great hall. Six chairs, def large table, definitely. Wall banners, eight, yes. Trophy rack or decorative weapon rack. Trophy rack. Or, and four torches. It needs four torches. <laughs> Braziers don't cut it, guys. It needs four torches to be great haul, because, I don't know. Um, that's a weird one. But I'm pretty sure uh, decorative weapon rack. Decorative weapon rack. Is there a difference? Let's do the torch thing first. Make metal torches. No, okay, they can't go there. <laughs> I filled this place with too much stuff for there to be space for four torches. Two. No, there's a banner there. I guess they can be floor torches, right? There's nothing that says they have to be. Okay, <clears throat> that's four torches. And where would the the decorative weapon racks be? They're under decorative shield, decorative weapon racks. Four. Really? There's not space. <sighs> oh, they fit in those alcoves. Okay, well. Then just make this symmetrical. And because I just want it done, because that'll be the end of this episode when that when that great hall thing pops up. That's been a long time in coming, folks. That's been what four episodes of work, so four hours total of of work to make a great haul happen in this game. Must have done it. I guess we're still waiting on the torches. this floor's not done here. You guys don't get to eat until the work is done. Oh, new joiner. What? Walter's a medic. We got a healer. Hey, look at that. We got a healer. Uh, that's fantastic. So now we get a dedicated healer in the community. Um, I don't want to slam the doors on Walter. No, no, no. No, no, no. Walter, welcome. Welcome, buddy. Age 24. You're a youngin. You're a youngin, Walter. Okay, what's his, uh... What's his shtick here? Uh... Let's see his, um... Doesn't have any combat ability at all, so it doesn't matter. 
Um, we'll just give him all weapons and uh, all headgear and uh, winter apparel for now and all armor and eat meals and we'll copy someone else's schedule and we'll give it to you and I made you drop your hat. I'm sorry. There it is, folks. Great Hall. Great Hall. Great Hall. The Great Hall is done in Ravensworth Castle. So, that's about it. That's about it for today. Um, uh, that was the goal. The goal was finally to finish this thing. And it is finished. And it looks fantastic. Um, lots of seating for the community. Places to eat. It's going to have access to a kitchen off the side and an herb garden and the meadery upstairs maybe or um, certainly there's there's uh, lots of food and alcohol um, out here and uh, down in the uh, root cellar I guess the, the larder or whatever the hell this thing is underneath um, so just so much food um, and that seems to be pretty easy for them to access uh, I don't know actually how they access it to be honest they gotta come out there and then they go around here and they go up these stairs okay so it's not it's not a direct access but it's, but it's it, it's pretty convenient um, to get to the Great Hall. And it'll just be more convenient when the kitchen's over here. But yeah, well, that's uh, that's all for me for now. This is Postmodern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a community management game from Foxy Voxel in the vein of Rimworld, in the vein of Dwarf Fortress. Um, I, I hope you uh, like watching these videos. Um, I enjoy making them. Um, if you if you do like watching me play these games um, or want to come play other games with me, um, you can check out what other games I play. Um, a lot of survival craft and stuff. Um, yeah, uh, hit me up, um, throw me uh, throw me a like, subscribe to my channel, uh, comment, please, of course, my video. Let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. Criticize me, um, let me know that I'm just, like, you know, totally missing the meta or whatever. Um, but yeah, keep it peaceful out there. <laughs>